Hi, this is Dr. Karen Perez with another video. So today we'll be talking about the Samunji effect. However, I want to point out that in individual who takes insulin, there are two reasons why their blood glucose will be very high in the morning upon waking up. So those two reasons are the Samunji effect or the dawn phenomenon. However, this video will focus on the Samunji effect. So for individual who takes insulin, when they take the insulin before they go to their bed, what occur is that as usual with all insulin, it doesn't matter the time of day, the insulin acts as a key that opens up the cell. This allow glucose to enter the cell. Now, this happens, it doesn't matter the time of day when someone takes insulin. However, when the insulin is given in the late evening before bed, what occurs is that the person's blood glucose will drop because the sugar goes inside the cell because insulin opens up that access port. Now you'll find out that around three, four o'clock, the blood glucose drops very low. In response to the blood glucose dropping this low, cortisol is released. And cortisol does a few things, but the one that I'm going to focus on is the liver. So cortisol is re released, and one of the function of the liver is to store excessive glucose as glycogen. So when the body is in a low, has a low glucose state, it has its reserve that it can then turn glycogen into back into glucose so that it can be used by the body. So that's one of the main, that's one of the function of cortisol. So this actually occur when the person blood glucose drops early in the morning, the body response is to, okay, secrete cortisol, and then we have glycogen turn into glucose that the body can use. But what happened in that response is that the blood glucose spike and get very high early in the morning. Early, not early in the morning, but upon awake, being awake, when the person tests their blood sugar, they're going to see that their blood glucose is high. Now, what is the treatment? The intervention is aimed at lowering the inappropriate high insulin dose. What does that mean? Remember we said the person get insulin prior to going to bed and that insulin causes the blood glucose level to drop low. And in response to that, the body secretes cortisol, which then turn uh, glycogen into glucose. Hence, when they wake up, their blood sugar is very high. So if they lower the insulin dose that is administered or given at bedtime, then they will prevent that drop in blood glucose. So. Um, according to Fitzgerald, they say lower the inappropriate high dose of insulin um, that is usually given around dinner time. And the dose of most of the time that the insulin, the type of insulin that is given around dinner time is the intermittent acti actin insulin. Uh, we have what comes underneath the intermittent actin insulin is like our Eumelin N and our Novolin N. So I hope this video is very helpful to identify what is the Samunji effect. Stay tuned for another video on the dawn phenomenon. Here are the references. Thank you so much for watching.